Okay, uh, we're gonna keep going on costing. This is a second video on that. Before we did receive, not invoice, and then receive an invoice, or actually invoice part of it. Um, I'm gonna dig a little bit deeper into the invoicing part of the transaction. So last time we had an item, uh, it was the spring coffee mug, and we received it. So what happened actually in the chart of accounts basically uh, there was there was one purchase invoice created one of those uh, and there was one ILE created which is the item ledger entries there were two value entries one was for the receipt and one was for the uh, actual invoice so it happens you know one after another and then there is a GL entry, which is the accounting, there are four created, four GL entries, which is seems a lot. So I want to dive into this number. Why are there four GL entries created when you receive a product? So what happens when you receive a product? So we're going T accounts a little bit. Uh, we have the inventory account and we have AP, accounts payable, right? And so when we receive a product and post the invoice, let's say for $1,000, we receive $1,000 and we owe $1,000 to the vendor. That should be it, right? But it's not. And in the test company, actually there's two extra postings that happen actually in all companies. But in the test company, they are all directed towards the inventory account and you don't see them because they wash. So if you're just running around in the test company, this is all you'll see. But if you drill into the inventory account, you see that there are three transactions here. Two of them wash, one of them hangs. So how, <clears throat> what are these two extra transactions about? Well, they are something called direct cost applied. and purchases purchases so what happens is that the offset to the inventory account in business central is not ap the offset to the inventory account in business central is the direct cost applied and the offset to the ap account again is not inventory the offset to the AP account is purchases so these two bookings are done as well as these two but really in the test you only see this because both of these are posted directed to be posted into the inventory account by setup um, which is a little misleading so there is a possibility that these numbers here do not match, do not wash, and we'll introduce a fifth account. And that's what I'm gonna get into a video after this, but I'm gonna show you in the system how it posts so that we actually can open up these four amounts and understand what these is. So this is a little deep, but hey, gotta have a little fun with this, right? Let's check it out. Okay, let's take a look at this. Uh, I'm gonna go into my item and uh, take a look at the transaction that happened during our last posting. So if I go here into history, entries, ledger entries, I actually have to drill into the cost amount and go into the invoice, which is right here. And I can hit, uh, let me see, where is it? Navigate, right here. So what Navigate does, it, it collects together all of the entries that got created when I posted this invoice. And so we created a posted purchase invoice, uh, four GL entries, uh, vendor ledger entry, two of them actually, one uh, for detailed and one for the actual, and then a value entry, which is the entry I am navigating on. And the GL entry, if I look at those, so why are we generating four GL entries, right? And that's exactly what I explained on the, on the whiteboard. Uh, we got <clears throat> basically three extra entries here um, so we get one entry for the vendor 
and then we get one entry uh, into the inventory and then two entries here into direct cost applied and purchases so let me go ahead and post again uh, and this will make it a little bit clearer if I go into the uh, chart of accounts I have created extra accounts here I created the purchases account and direct cost applied account and then I have the inventory account here I also went into the um, uh, general posting setup and for this item which is this line here I've set up so that the purchase account is going into a different account than the inventory account uh, in demo it's actually all going into the inventory account but it washes out most of the time so you don't really understand or, or know that it's happening other than it creates extra entries so I have this going into purchase account and over here I have the direct cost applied account all right so if I go ahead and post now a purchase order for the spring oops Uh, let's go a purchase order, new one to the Fabricum, popular vendor. And for the spring coffee mug into the main location, let's say we get 500. Um, and I'm going to just put in the invoice number and go ahead and post so let's see what happens um, see. receive an invoice so now it booked and if we go into the channel accounts you can see that it it's posting 2500 on purchases and 2500 on direct cost applied so it's hitting debit purchases and credit direct cost applied so direct cost applied is the offset to inventory and the purchases is the offset to uh, ap so why do we need these offsets why doesn't it just post debit inventory and credit ap so hopefully on the blackboard uh, I explained a little bit and, and in the next video we're going to actually throw these numbers off to show you how that can be done.